Okay, YouTube, we got the uh, Project Power Stroke here. Um, got the transmission back in there with the new front pump and new torque converter. It uh, runs and drives amazing now. Oh, we better turn that off. YouTube don't like that too much. But anyways, I got the new rims on there. Oh, and I changed the uh, front um, headlight turn signal, signal markers. I changed those. Um, I think it looks a little bit better with the uh, clear ones in there. Has a 20 inch rock stars. Um, looks pretty good, runs pretty good. So, we'll go for a drive after I finish walking around and it's showing you guys how it turned out. We might call this the completed video um, of the truck. Just have my microfiber drying towel there. Back seat looks good. The interior looks good from cleaning it the way I did. I don't know how well the video is picking up because all this sunlight, but... I mean, the interior really came out a hundred times better than it was. I still might get a new one of these. I don't know if I'll make a video about that or not. Um, you know, just the lid for it. But anyways, let's... Uh... Let's go for a drive. Oh, and I just got done washing it too. That's why I'm over here at the Safeway. Yeah, this thing runs really good. Um, one thing I can't figure out how to get off is that damn door ajar light. I had a Ranger with the uh, four doors, the ones that folded backwards. And I could never get that light to turn off unless I cleaned like uh, where the latches go with a uh, brake cleaner. But I've tried that on this thing and I can't uh, seem to figure out what what exactly the issue is so maybe if one of you guys have uh, have one of these maybe knows how to get that off if you had the same problem I haven't got on the forums yet but I'm planning on it because these interior lights will stay on until you hit about 15 exactly uh, and then they go off you see so it's not bad in the day but at night it's kind of a pain Needs an alignment, but we won't make a video of that. So, anyways, until another video, um, keep watching. I might do a video of my Dodge next. I've never really done a video of you know exactly what I have done to it. And, um, never a real ride in it, you know, explaining things or under the hood. So, I might do a video of my Dodge. Um, so, you guys look forward to that. And, who knows, we'll get on another, some, some other redneck project you guys might like, or just random videos of different things, so, anyways. Um, oh, and by the way, I uploaded a whole bunch of pictures of this truck um, to my Rosie account, and they will be up by the time this video is up, so I'll have that in a link down below. Um, I also did some other work to the truck. Um, the turbo, that baffle at the back of it, because it's a compound turbo, was like sticking, and it wasn't very responsive. So anyways, I took that out and welded that. 
a buddy of mine was over and he recorded a little video of me welding. So if you guys want to check his site out and watch him do that, um, or watch me weld from his um, channel, I will stick a link in the description below. His uh, YouTube username is Poontender13. So, and he just started a YouTube account, and he's planning on uploading masses of videos. He, uh, he does videos a lot like me. Right now, some of his videos out there are pretty much just, um, you know, random ones he had on his phone before he thought of making a YouTube. But he did put that one up of me, and I will link that down below. Anyways, keep watching. Thanks.